Shalom everybody, I'm Achia Cohen Tavor, the archaeologist of Bagesh Tourist Archaeology. Today we are in a very special, disordered place as you can see. It's the Roman battles of Hamat Gader. Hamat Gader means the uh, hot therma of the city Gader lying above us. And this is hot springs coming way down from the Jordan, uh, deep in the Jordan Valley. And the Roman baths here are magnificent. It's amazing. Uh, it's an amazing place. Huge baths as you can see in the pictures. And the Roman uh, sources are saying that these are the best hot springs ever in the Roman Empire, except the ones in Pompeii, in Baea. We can see here many different pools that many different people can come in and bathe. One of the interesting things is that they found an inscription in one of the rooms saying that this is the pool for the leopard people, meaning they had their own pool so they can heal themselves with the hot springs and the minerals in the water. This is one of the big pools. You can see around it there are lots of small um, fountains with hot water splashing down into the pool. You can imagine people sitting all around talking, having fun, whatever. Each one of these uh, fountains is dedicated by a person. There's an inscription on it in Greek, in Latin, saying I donated it for the god so and so, or for my health, or my family's health, and so on. So, in the in the old baths, people had the only chance in their life to bathe in hot water. Otherwise, you can't have hot water. And this is a very social thing. This is not just about healing, about having fun. It's about meeting. Uh, and it's one of the most important places in the uh, Galilee at the time. Hamad Gader is also mentioned in many rabbinical sources. One saying that Jews can come here and bathe in Shabbat. That it's allowed to bathe in Shabbat because of its healing purposes. So thank you for being with us. Hopefully meeting you again after Covid face to face. See you in the next episode.